How you doing, man? It's cold. It's cold. I, I'm doing. I'm doing just fine. You yeah. know, all good. All good. Uh -huh. Am I? My last few days here before uh, a trip. Oh, you, you, where are you going? Uh, Turkey. You know, I'm gonna be there for some for quite some time. But no, anyway, I'll I will be available if you need me. So it's just gonna be evening there rather than morning. Are you doing? You're doing some chess stuff. No, no, it's it's kind of. No, more medical. Oh, okay. You know, I want to do some stuff, you know, that I cannot get down here. Huh, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, my man. Well, we're, 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 we're going to do some suffering today. At least I'm going to do some suffering today. And um, so I'll just, I'll just paint you a picture, Yermo. After I played in that senior tournament, I played oh. maybe a month later, I played in one of these open tournaments and I lost two games to people I've never even heard of. Kids, this is the first one and it's very painful to me. Um, the kid, I mean, uh, I gotta say, the kid played, even though I had my chances, the kid played, I mean, you know, these kids, I don't know. He, I, I didn't even know if he, he didn't even have a real rating, <laughs> but he played phenomenally, at least in parts. Okay, let's get into it. Oh, that, that's what happens, you know. So would you like to invite me to chess.com or how do yeah, I Yeah, I invited you, but let me invite you again. Let's try this again. Boom, that's invite. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. okay, I'm here. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah okay. You know what, you, you're not telling me anything new. Uh, I went, that was a year and a half ago or so, I went to National Open and I, uh, I played a kid I never heard of. And I lost because, no, not because I, I played so badly. I probably played bad enough, but, but he played some excellent moves. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, next time I looked, he is, uh, no, it's, he gained 400 rating points. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I suppose, you know, like when I played him, he was 1900. And then he was, next time I looked, he was 23. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so while well, you have the black pieces and, uh, and you play your favorite French, what could go wrong? Exactly. Not only that, Alex, but I don't have many opening, uh, you know, opening novelties or whatever, but I came armed. And here in this position, I've played B6 a bunch of times. That's interesting. Uh, my silicon friend told me this was actually a good move, so here we go. C5. All right. Pop. Pop. Now the first thing is uh, the the computer wanted queen e2 here, and to me it wasn't immediately obvious. But the kid found it. <laughs> I don't know how the kid found it, man. But it's not an intuitive move to me, queen e2. Not at all, because <laughs> well, he had the chance to put the queen over there early in the game, and right. Well, and that's right. just amazing stuff. So the point. But anyway, is, what's White's? Uh, so, so, okay, so let me just say this is, I was still in my prep here, okay, and I'm about to make a very computer move, Alex, okay, but the point is, now, by the way, in these notes that I did here, I've not looked at the computer, I'm just trying to understand the position from a human point of view, right, so I think the reason that knight c5 is poor is in a position like this, after knight e5, he's a little bit better. Well, yeah, it's hard to get that. Knight out of that. Right. Okay. So, queen e2. And then, get this, Alex. This, this is like it's like a computer move from hell here. Get ready. Bam! <laughs> B5. Oh, well, that is just... <laughs> it's a great move. But, of course, it's obviously a move that only the computer would tell me to do. Right? Okay. So, that was your prep, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, B5, you know, those such things. So here, I don't want to go too much into the prep, but the human move, B6, you see this move in similar, there are some other French variations that go like this, but the point about, uh, this is again, my human understanding, the reason this is maybe not so hot is pop, pop. And now it's a little bit hard for me to move. Contrast that with, Okay, 
B5. So that's because uh, yeah, in the final position, your your bishop is stuck on c8, right, to protect the six or right. Whereas in this one, it would go like this. It would go um, here, 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 uh -huh. here. Oh, excuse me. Here, here, and then let's say rook h1, and now rook b8. <laughs> with the intention of playing rook b6, holding this square and just being a nice rook. Yeah, rook to b6. Yeah. You know, well, long time ago I had a game, you know, I'm not really an e4 player, but in right. that game I opened with e4. It was an important game. Our team played the World Team Championship and we played the Russian team. On board one I was. So there was no, uh, no Kramnik. No Kasparov. Kasparov was still active then. But mm -hmm. These two guys didn't show up, and I played Barev. Yeah. And I played e4, and he played the same line. Yeah, that's right. Fridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which surprised me because it's like, I mean, I know so little. Well, I, I thought, you know, I could get by with just common sense. Mm -hmm. But he found this maneuver of rook to b6. Interesting, yeah. He was and, the uh, guy who, he was the was guy who started this. different. Thing. Well, I don't think he played c5 that soon. It was no, 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 no. That's b5 and rook b6, with the pawn still on c7 and the pawn on d4, and that kind of helped his position tremendously. Right. So right, this position here, uh, Bereev was the guy who, and he would play uh, b6 in these positions. Oh, well, I yeah. think. Well, maybe, maybe I, I think I had. What did I have? Maybe I had the queen on the two and bishop on c4. No, okay, well, oh, since also, I yeah, knew nothing, yeah. well, my stuff, you know, it's completely irrelevant. We, we need to look at yours. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. B5. So B5 of four moves. Oh, Jesus. You know, that's just... Now, the first thing, actually, in, and especially in hindsight, that really impressed me with the kid is, I think most kids, what they would have done is they would have gone here... Maybe he didn't even see this, but you know, if you see it, I think you'd you'd want to do it. So pop, 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 bishop there, pop, queen a six, pop, pop. And most kids, I feel like most kids would take this position, but in fact, I think black is almost winning here because it's just too much. I got the initiative. Well, you're down the exchange, but you have the, you have various, uh, obviously you want to take the pawn on b2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the pawn goes to c3, you probably continue with b4. Right. No, I think Yeah, it's... this position doesn't appear to be safe for, for white. Right. But I understand that you thought, you know, you're playing just some kid, you know, who would go for the material. Well, I mean, honestly, uh... I mean, it was just uh, my my preparation, and then whatever you know. Um, okay, so he doesn't he doesn't go for that, and instead goes for the material this way. All right, so now we're in the next phase of the game. Okay, so he took a pawn. I was here. Let's just say the obvious dynamic. Um, because he's taken on b five. If I can keep the queens on in any way, I have great chances to mate him because his initiative is now gone, because he took the pawn on b5, right? Okay, but it's not so simple. Here we go. So queen c7, I believe, is forced. Right, right. If right. queen b7, I have to deal with knight d6. Okay. Yeah, and after knight d6, well, yeah, I was thinking that you might be able to take and play your, your rook to b8, but it's probably not. Yeah, I don't think... I, I did look at that. I spent yeah. some time looking at this position afterwards. C4, yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's the thing. You know, so the bishop's protected and the queen now defends B2. And for, from his perspective, he'll soon get rook HD1 and uh, my pieces are still a little funny. Yeah, yeah well, the only, the only hope here is to somehow trap this bishop, but it's probably not going to happen. All right. Okay, so queen c7. Okay, reasonable. You preserve your dusk of bishop. And now I now is my like my first choice in the game. Mm. All right, 
Um, there are some end games with queen c4 where I feel like black has fine compensation, but I didn't think in my analysis and during the game that I had enough. So here we go. Check. And now I make my first mistake. Um, again, I have not checked any of these computers, just me doing my own analysis. And my sense is that, yeah, I, hmm. I missed it. I missed his coming uh, tricks. <laughs> I missed his coming tricks here after I played this natural move, queen h6. And I'll say, Yermo, there were at least, at least three times in this game where I played the natural move and uh, it was not the right move, you know? So what's that? It's intuition. How do we find you know, natural moves at something that we felt like needs to be played? Right. And another word is intuition. Right. Well, you know what? If that's the case, well, at least in that game you had a problem because you can't calculate everything. Be true, yeah. Not in today's chess. So that anyways, I feel like um, I should be playing queen f5 to keep an eye on this bishop so that he cannot do the tricks he does in the game. Well, yeah, if you play your... If you play your queen to f5, so your, your plan is just to go rook b8, obviously. Right. Or knight b. I mean, he's got a problem because I can threaten knight b6. I got a lot of nice moves now. But okay. Uh, and I think his best move would be like queen d3. You don't think that would be like... There would be bishop to, to c6, right? Probably not. I doubt it. Why? What's, what's the idea of bishop c6? I don't know. Well... Hit the rook, return the bishop uh, if need be, but to e4, but you play your queen to anywhere, right? A5. Yeah, or f6, a5, doing great. But a5 is most natural. No, here he's here he's close to lost, right? I'm coming in with everything. The full the full uh so that's uh, this this dangerous, right? So you have all the moves, yeah. bishop to a six, rook to c eight. It is no for for you obviously you you analyze such positions. So bishop c six is not good. So queen d three, queen d three, right? And and I think I didn't come up with anything better, but I I like it. It's just to take it, and then of course he can play c d. But I thought in this position that black's a little bit better. You're down the pawn. <laughs> I realize I'm down the pawn, you I realize I'm down the pawn. You're down the pawn. What are you talking about? How can you be better here? Um, There's similar positions. Based, based, based exactly on what? I'll tell you what. Because I have a familiarity with a slightly similar position. Here, I'll show you real quick. So, um, pop. Okay. Pop. 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 Yeah, so this position uh, also but similar, though I feel like maybe in the game that one position that, that might even, that's also maybe easier for me to play. But here, black is better because I got initiative against both, like over here, and then also this pawn here. Which which pawn? B two F two G two, right? I mean, I. Uh... No, it's not immediately obvious. I get it. I get it, but uh, it's totally not obvious to me. But yeah. but in this position, I'm I I can see that black has a threat, right. which in the previous position the, I didn't spot any threats. Here you have a threat of playing your knight to a four. Right. Well, okay. Anyways, there's a lot of positions like this as well, where white um, uh, black has good compensation. Um, so the other one, let's go back. So, um, 
queen f5. Queen d3, I think I'm forced to take that thing, right? So, pop, pop, pop. No, right, so here from, like, white obviously needs to trade pieces, so never mind the bishop. So the move knight a4 has to be played. Never mind the bishop. You're probably not going to take it. I expect you to play bishop to b7. Bishop b7 looks good. I, I might take that thing. Why not? Um, no, you play a few moves, you'll see why. <laughs> I mean, this optimism is great quality, but no. Okay, let's play a few, you know. So if you take on d3, which I don't like at all. Well, white needs to trade some pieces. Well, so that that's why I'm. Well, if you take on d3, uh, rook takes. You know what's next. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking. Uh, in addition to bishop b7, I'm thinking maybe rook b8. But bishop b7 makes a lot of sense. On knight a4, I think you could probably play bishop c4. And yeah, in this position, knight a4. Yeah, knight a4 is, is, is interesting, uh, but... Uh, yeah, bishop c4 is certainly a move, because on b3, I thought, thought maybe bishop check. Maybe, yeah, yeah, you don't want to, <laughs> I don't think you want that, man. Yeah, you don't want that. No, I probably <laughs> don't want b3. So, okay, well, you can, you can try knight, knight a4. It's certainly better than knight takes d3. Knight takes d3, I consider the worst move in this position. Among the reasonable ones. Hmm. Okay. But you point out this uh, bishop c4, which is a very nice move because no, it's not only it's bishop to b3, it also opens the d file again for his rook. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at this because, so, okay, let me, let me try knight a4. So, uh, well, uh, There is one move here that I... Okay, let's look first at the, at the line that is dangerous for white. If you place bishop to b5, and you take, take the pawn on b2, yeah. and uh, he takes, and you play rook b8, and he plays whatever, a4, and you play a6, and he plays c4. Maybe it's not so simple. Okay, again, again, it's one of those, you know, that uh, that appear very dangerous. But if White somehow survives that, and True. no, yeah. he spawns on the queen side would would decide the game. He just needs a trader too. No. Okay, yeah, at the very at the very least it's not it's not an easy situation. Because you're gonna later get you always get this stuff on me, knight d6. Oh yeah, there's if bishop b seven there is also rook to d seven. Okay, let's let's go back for a second. So knight c five. So well 
So you play knight e4. So okay, let's say. I think you're gonna b4. play bishop b7. Okay. But I, well, <laughs> okay. All right. Bishop yeah, b7. I did, I, it. I did it. I did it, Yermo. I did. I yeah, finally did it. Of course. <laughs> so. No. So he takes. Okay. And you take. And now the pawn on f2 is, needs to be protected. So, it's it's very it's, unpleasant because you can't. It's so hard for you to deal with it's your. It's unpleasant. Knight. Well, why is it unpleasant? It depends. If I want if I want to win the game in ten moves, then it's indeed unpleasant. <laughs> okay. But it's not a simul game, you know. I'm not I'm not in a hurry. So right, I play my rook to d2. Why is it unpleasant for me? I don't get it at all. Without a knight, you know, you cannot have a, no any tactics. Anything to bother white. Well, I will be sitting there thinking, no, well, what to do with the G2 pawn, but, no, but I don't expect any anything uh, coming against my position, uh, any threats at all, without the black knight. So yeah, you have number of moves, of course, yeah. in this position. So you play. Uh, I'm thinking what you should play here. A pawn forward, or a rook to c8, or. So okay, I think if I'm worried about something, right, it's going to be rook e1 to bishop e4, right? No, well, yeah, that's certainly the what White would like to do. Well, ahead of everything else. Okay, Guillermo, that's why I don't want to play bishop b7. I want to play rook b8. Because I'm probably going to want the rook on b4. Ah, uh, rook b8. Well, it's also it's, uh, it's as good as... No, uh, I mean, it's all better than capture on d3. So it's all nicely done. So I suppose he... I suppose he does the same. Takes on c5. Okay, but we, I guess... Wait, oh, and plays his rook to d2. Okay. Yeah, still not, still not. Okay, it's not easy. It's not easy. Well, the thing with, with this knight, I mean, I'm thinking in this position okay. you know, how to play against the white knight. I was, I was even considering the move that nobody would like to play, which is like f6. Right. With bishop c4, but king h8, but it's not sort of an endgame play that we want. It's more, it has a middle game kind of feel to it. We put the. <clears throat> Yeah, he's going to be fine, though, if he gets bishop c4 and after f6, right? Oh, well, yeah, but maybe f5, and then the bishop can come out somewhere, and then... But... Okay, I'm going to try to defend black's honor here, just for saying. So rook b4, that was my original intention. Rook to b4. Oh, it certainly does something over there. Uh, can I... No, one second. There's uh, something confusing here. So I was going to play my knight to e5. And then you play... No. Rook f4. Rook f4, yeah. So I suppose he has to defend. I mean, let's do more ugly stuff. Rook to f1. I'm trying to get g3 in. And now I'm going to do your move, f6. Well. Yeah, that's getting getting to be sharp, but anyway, it will continue. So the move is G. G3, I play rook A4, right? Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's no, that's that, no, that's not good. No, I I shouldn't let this happen. So f6. No, okay, fine. You played f6, the knight f5, and, and you played all this and played f6. Oh, you want to go back to this one? Yeah. Okay. Well, why should I resign? No, no, I didn't say you should resign. I just thought you said you uh, didn't want to let this well, happen. No, I, it's too early to resign. <laughs> I certainly have some moves here. But probably it has to be knight to c4, right? Your rook is unusual, but no, well, maybe it's not too bad. You can play to h4 if needed. Maybe you start with rook to h4. So right, either rook h4 or maybe bishop a6, just to encourage you to play. No, I don't think that this. Uh, okay, well. But Certainly, yeah. bishop a6 is also a move. And then I, I, but, I don't, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but rook h4, the purpose of rook h4 is to prevent this g3. So it right. kind of forces white to play the pawn to h3 and then the black rook can, can be there and the, on the fourth. And then you continue with bishop b7. Mm -hmm. No, this is not bad. Okay, so after rook before, so knight e5 is, uh, I need to con con reconsider. Let me just say, you know, you can play whatever you want. The move I was a little worried about was c4. I don't know if it's any good, but that was just I wonder. Oh, c4 that. is, is all, also comes into consideration. Yeah. I mean, it, well, my no, my opinion that black doesn't have real attacking chances, not because the queens got off. That was obvious, but uh, after after the trade of a pair of knights. I mean, you have, no, well, it's usual to bishops, but usual compensation. You're probably right about c4. One thing, uh, this maybe a nice touch. move after c4 would, would then be to play f6. Right. Um, unless I'm afraid of a3. Maybe I'm afraid of a3. In which case, I'll play, I guess, a5 first. But, um, but then that knight can come to e5, right, in this situation. Yeah, f6, uh, no, I think f6 is... Uh, but then a3? It's a good know. idea, yeah. well, in general. Um, but I understand your reluctance, of course, because of this a3 and b4. So it kind of gains time and begins to move moves his pawns forward. And you don't have bishop d6 in the end. Because of bishop takes h7. Pro so probably, maybe, I mean, it's hot. It's hot, right? But something like bishop b7. No, yeah. Uh, so this, uh, so how does this change things if he, if he goes for this a3 thing? I was thinking on a3 that I would play. I'm, first of all, I'm not entirely sure if this is working, but I was going to uh, do this. Yeah, I thought I thought of this. But maybe I get hose. Watch. b4, here, here, and then I got to deal with that thing. And you don't have the time for your... a5, no, I don't think strong I Strong attack, you know. No. So if oh, you... Wait, 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 wait. Watch this one. I go, pop. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yeah, but then what, what move order? He doesn't have to blunder. Yeah. Anyway, so this that would be just the idea anyway. Whether he blunders or not, that's yeah, at least well, the idea. No, that was nice, of course. Then he had to avoid that. But it was, it was possible for him to avoid it. So, I mean, rook a4, no, all right, well, it's, uh, I suppose it's interesting. I I hope it works. Okay. That's well, all I can say, because, well, that 
Basically, you you're not that far away from uh, from total disaster here. I mean, you when you place your your rook on a4 like this, there may be one move. Maybe mm. it's knight e5. Mm. Maybe white calculates knight e5, and uh, and no, and that that may be it. So in this position, because in, in yeah. this case, after right. knight e5, when he threatens knight d7 and force your rook, you have a back rank issue. In the final position. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. So that rook on a4 is no. Well, if it works, it works. Uh, but um, what well, the difficulty in playing such position is that you want to get no. You want to get like a full fledged counterplay. You don't want to grow for a draw. And this is where you could go a little too far. I mean, people often go too far. Well, right, um, and you know, but black also in this position, I'm. After, like I said, c4 was a move that concerned me. Um, c4 is a pretty good move. But yeah. also even a5, I can do a5. And on knight e5, I can go uh, rook b6. It's still still everything to play for here. No, well, then he kind of no, builds up a few ish, you know. So he will play a bishop somewhere and wants to play knight d7. Yeah, no, well, maybe not the right away, but no, well, and... It's, yeah, it's, white, looks, it's, white looks good here already. Okay. Okay. Complicated. So, uh, in any case, queen f5, we can argue about what the eval is. I'll ask the computer later. I'll ask the computer later. Um, I feel, the reason I feel good about it, just the experience of similar positions, but in any case... Um, I played this. Can you keep the queen zone somehow? That's what I know. I, wanted I want to, well, you to keep the Well, queen that's why zone. I played queen h6. Because <laughs> see, see, the problem is if I go queen f6, then the guy can go knight e4 and I have to repeat. And honestly... Because the, may, check, may, from, the check from h6 in this situation and then followed by your knight b6 and, and, and all that, why don't you play? Or I don't know. That's what I thought, that uh, maybe this is the near the only idea to keep the queen zone. So I suppose king b1, and then at least you have your... Okay, well, okay let's, let's think about it. So now knight b6, right? Right. And then does my bishop have a nice square here? I don't think so. Maybe I can go knight d5? Um, he might go rook d5, e d5, bishop c6. Bishop c6, but but so. Yeah, you take. Thank you very much. Yeah, you keep on taking. Takes. <laughs> well, now and now bishop d6, and then I'll take. You win here. I'm winning. Yeah. Okay, that was no, it. that 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 doesn't work. Uh no, that was very neat that you found this knight d5. And then... So that means that queen c7 is ineffective. It gives a tempo. Let me just stare at this again. Queen f6. Hmm. Now again, I have this... Okay, well, let's look at this again. Knight e4. I'm thinking that the most dangerous piece is that knight on d7. So, well, that's why in, in, this, in this position, after knight b6, I find this... Well, uh, I find this position uh, more difficult for white to play than it should have been. So, let's, let's look at simplifications. Instead, after queen f6, I'm going to do something that, well, uh, your, your, your mama told you not to do. I'm going to play bishop takes d7. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm getting rid of the knight, and I'm knight. going this 
Night e four. I'm gonna、mm-hmm. do the same thing. Okay, but check this. Now I can go back. Uh, and then you have this rook c8 coming with great effect. No, it didn't work. I, I don't have. I don't get the e5 square. Okay, then I can. Well, now I don't know. After queen f6, I'm thinking maybe white is in need of some improvement. Maybe they need to prepare the move knight e4. But how can the move be prepared? Well, right. I mean, if I get knight b6, that's my unravel completely. Um, okay. Ah,、uh, all, all right. Additional possibility of what if what if he plays like queen d4? Would that be beneficial for black to play e5? It may be. I mean, maybe it wasn't the move you were looking to play, but possibly in this situation. Um, and also, you have that some possibility, a strange possibility, maybe of just rook to b. I got a lot of moves here too. I could. You got tons of moves. Bishop c five. I could do all kinds of things. No, that、uh, yeah. All、no. the bishop c five. Oh, no! Again, the rook b eight also is. Yeah, rook b eight. B five. Nobody, nobody excludes e five. So somehow, I'm beginning to like your position after we found queen f six. You, well, it's funny. I thought it's funny because I, I missed what I missed. Okay, let me just be clear about what I missed in the game and also even in the analysis. I missed that. I guess the anti-intuitive thing was I wanted to keep the knight on d two. I didn't want it to go to e four. But now, I yeah, if the queen stay on, I'm I'm crushing this fool. Right, I'm crushing this fool. Yeah, so King B1 again, and Knight B6, and White. White has to have this has to work for him, else he's in trouble. And then I guess nah, it probably won't work. No, now I'm thinking that moving the Queen about like this. No, he probably better off going Queen back to E2. Okay, but then I'm then I've got then all of my dreams have happened. Right, all of my、uh, dreams have come true. What exactly? What exactly is、uh, so、probably rook b eight? That's going to be a hell of a thing. You think so? Yeah. Well, I.、Uh, what do I worry about here? Mate. <laughs> no, but well, the, the queen from h six. The queen from h six does not reach b two. Fair enough. So it's it's not mate yet. Well, now what?、Uh, but does White have any constructive idea? Something that because simply sitting there, you know, the extra pawn without creating some threats、right. uh, with so many pieces on the board is not the right strategy. So he has to find some. Okay, but but Yermo, let's just say obviously. This yeah, this position be, is.、Yeah. Uh, Well, it's exactly what you want because、exactly. you have all the pieces on the board, and、uh, if, well, that's the way to justify your b5. Right, right. If you get this far, you know, like then, well, then that's already not not so bad. All right, let me try show you what happened in the game because the drama is just beginning, my friend. <laughs> so, by the way, you're. Well, let me just say, as an old. Bastard to another old bastard. Like when I play these long games, it just crushes me, man. I I don't like when it goes to like the fourth hour now. Start. That's where I start losing my mind.、But、here we go. So、oh, look what Karpov did in、uh, the in the end of、uh, last century, right? <laughs> so he was only a few years removed from this great win in Linares and whatever it was, but it was ninety four. By about ninety eight, well, ninety、hey, nine,、uh, he had he was finishing last in those tournaments, sometimes without a single win. Yeah. So what he did, he quit,、uh, no classical time control chess, but he re- retained his strength and rapid events for another. Maybe for ten years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be that well, guy. Well, though, it just, it's just the way it is. Carlson、yeah. anticipates this.、Yeah. People all wonder, you know, why Carlson is is like that, so he doesn't want to be world champion anymore. I think he anticipates already that that、mm. it's long time control games, which are much more difficult now than 
Uh, too many years ago when Karpov dealt with that because of the amount of preparation. It's just figures. It's, uh, it's just not for him anymore. Anyways, here's my first Sorry, big, ta ta this. big tactical mistake. Well, really, it came already with queen h6 because queen c7, the problem is I cannot play rook b8. I did it anyway. And then we get pop, 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 pop. Now, he has, he has more material. <laughs> he now has you totally more material. Can, you had totally committed to checkmating him. How are you going to do this? <laughs> no, okay. Here I'm technically lost, Yermo. I think. But did you have any other options? Uh, I think after queen c7. You give, you give some line after queen yeah, c7. Yeah, I, I needed to go. It's ugly, but I think I needed to go here. Yeah. And then get really ugly over here. And the the uh, the problem is it's oh. it's really hard to unravel now. And the bishop here is very annoying because it's cutting my knight's exit. And so this whole thing was about that bishop c six, and there was just no way. Oh, amazing. So it's amazing, really. So the, the problem with queen with placement of the queen on h6 is that your bishop was not protected on the exactly seven. right. So that's after the, queen yeah. c7, you were not able to move your knight. Right. Yeah. Now all such things, you know, all they say <laughs> behind every position of mistake there is uh, miscalculation. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Let, we're not quite done yet, though. You're they, check, check well, this yeah, out. I understand. Yeah. Here we go. Check. check this out. All right. Well, how did you make it? How did you make a game out of this? All right. So, first of all, I offered him a draw in the wrong spot here, Yermo. I should have offered him a draw. I should have offered him a draw the next move. You know, where he has so a choice. So you played this uh, with the idea of. Meeting c3 with bishop a3 or what? And also, well, I knew he was going to do this. And then I just wanted to get a little bit of juice over here. on, on So so let me just try to say what I think is happening. Obviously, from a, uh, a objective point of view, black is lost, obviously. Yeah, you lost here, so he would not take your draw. Yeah. But, but the uh, opposite color bishops and the fact that I have a strong side to play on i.e. the king side, mean that I have some kind of chances to create counterplay, right? Now, should is it lost? Yes, but like right away he goes astray. I think I think if I was playing some GM, they would just play h3 here. They wouldn't even think about it. Yeah, h3, and if h5, then possibly rook d4. I, there's many moves, right? He goes here, and then all of a sudden the game becomes a little bit more spicy. I think I'm still technically lost but um, if I win F2, Drop the pawn on F2. Now, now the game's a little bit interesting. Okay, so here okay. we go. He just blundered, right? Oh. I think what he missed was that on rook D7, I have rook D8. Yeah. Oh, now your queen is better than all the pieces uh, right. combined. <laughs> no, okay. So here. So rook D7, so he wanted to play like rook f1 and then win that. Okay, but now right. you trade the rooks. And now the h-pawn is a little... His h, his king side is a little tender. And yeah, his king side is all under, under attack. And then, no, well, this I agree with you. This position is now is no longer clear. All right, let me try to find a good plan for him. If I can... I'm not sure I can. I, I, was think, to, I, I think the king I was hoping to get the bishop on the long diagonal. I looked at bishop to b7. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's probably not good because that bishop comes under attack by the queen. And then you end up you end up chasing that chasing that bishop. Look at this. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't like this bishop b7. Right. Of of different moves, you even have a no. 
maybe even f5. It looks kind of crazy, but but it just this bishop is in terrible shape, and then you can chase that bishop or attack the bishop right away. Other than bishop b7, I don't see anything constructive. He has to go knight d3 and uh, no get his pieces out. Mm, Yermo, I was thinking he should play c3, man. Um, okay, c3, but how does it solve his problem? Like and First term? of all, I think he should put his pawns on the dark square. It's very important. And then he, his king needs lift anyway. And this gives his uh, pieces a little bit more opportunity to regroup with, like, uh, eventually bishop d3 and knight c1 and that whole scenario. Um, but what if you start advancing your, your, your pawn? With f5 now? Yeah. Well, first of all, like, if you do it right oh, away. Oh, you think that there is this knight to d4. Maybe knight d4, but isn't that also a hassle? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. So, no, you cannot do this. You have to start with king to g7. Yeah. Suppose you play king g7 is needed anyway. It's It was too early. Well, I need to get off the all these problems. So, c3, but, but so... What if you start advancing this? F five and then maybe even e five. Or no, okay, it has to be careful not to drop the pawn on f five. You have to be careful. But you're right about the h two pawn. If rook if rook f one, you you plan to play queen to h four, right? Um, yeah, that's exactly right. So here I would anticipate probably either knight c1 or knight d4. Um, yeah, knight d4. And here I have ideas too of knight e2. And? It's just a nice move, covers all the squares, right? Uh, no, I don't get it. I think the pieces get tangled up. All I'm saying is I, I need an idea. If you play bishop b6, no, you play, I'm you play continue. It. You play your bishop to b6. Okay. Okay, so he's stuck now, right? He has no move. So his bishop is tied down to the knight. His knight is not coming to d3. Okay. Uh, but so what's his next move? Okay, f5 now. Knight to g3, king, no. Ah, okay, uh, this. So is there a threat? All I'm thinking is if you play e5, I think knight g3, I've got Well, enough. yeah, well, it's too early, so h pawn now, h5. Okay, good. We're going to come up with everything on him. But it's a delicate procedure to how to move your, your pawns, obviously. Yeah. If you weaken one of them, then he has the firepower to... The queen is not... No, it's an active piece, but what's the use of defending something with the queen when he uses two pieces to attack it? As Bent Larson said in some of his notes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm happy to play with, uh, with, with uh, rook and uh, bishop against the queen. I can attack something twice and there is no use in defending it in the queen. <laughs> you have a great game here. No, no, it's, I, so, okay. So he plays bishop b7. Oh, well. Not a solution. How many question marks you gave to his move king b1? <laughs> well, at least the one he deserves. No, but the kid played a great move queen c7 and they yeah. got all this material. Yeah. And then king b1, like how did king b1... What? Well, I think he, he thought, though, he missed rook d8. So he missed, watch, I'm sure he missed this. So tactic. he calculated this whole wait, thing wait, wait, wait. and he thought that... But, you know, it's... He, right? He missed no, it. here he's going to lose... Uh, he's going to uh, lose it everything, right? No, so, so he's not going to be... In I'm just shape. trying to tell you what he missed. I have a feeling this is what he missed. No, right? rook d8 was... Uh, rook d8 was cute, of course. Okay. So. Yeah, because otherwise, you know, he had rook coming to f1 followed by rook takes f7. I think. Now, by the way, it's interesting, Yermo, like, 
obviously, in a practical sense, everything is, um, in a lot of ways, maybe it's even already easier for, for black to play. But objectively, I still think it's lost. Maybe no, even... I don't know. No. Well, I don't know what objectively means here in terms of computer relations. Yeah. We don't care for that. In a practical game, I think black's chances is not inferior at all. Yeah, yeah. You know, white pieces are in terrible shape, and I, I, I don't know. I would, I wouldn't be uh, so worried. So the move bishop b seven. That well, if if I can make it work, if I can um, somehow, if I can. Uh, grab a hold of everything and, and play knight to d3. But no, no, okay, let's see. Maybe it should look a little deeper here. I think this queen b6 is uh, is a possibility. But... I played queen b6. I think on a practical level that this move is even harder to me. Because now I'm threatening bishop h2. Ah. Uh. I see. And if you play, let's just say some obvious things. So if you play h3, I take it, and you got to take back with the pawn, which is good because then my pawns are connected, right? If you play g3, then your rook never moves again, right? Um, and I have h5, well, h4. Well, g3, yeah. g3 would not be would not be the most desirable, but. Maybe but, yeah. are you well? Actually, maybe not. Maybe G three is the move here. Uh huh. So my evaluation was that Black would be a little bit better after G three just because of H five. Yeah, H five and H four. Right, but you know, uh, game goes on. Bishop G two, Rook F one. You know, it's complicated. Yeah, but so you have this. You still have this H four. Of course, of course. No black. I, I mean, black's better, right? No, it's just piece, pieces are not coordinated. This. Right. Well, I, uh, I don't know if Bishop B seven was a mistake. Uh, I thought Bishop B seven was. Mistake, but yeah. uh, but your no your suggestion C three. Well, it's a reasonable move. It didn't solve anything. Well, it's still hard for white to play. Okay. Well, let's think from from a you no know, player's point of view. You you always want to be able to do something. You just can't uh, can sit on your position and you no. Know, it's psychologically it's very difficult. I mean, White has to get the pieces out. But oh, I don't know. You say Bishop C seven. All right, you said that H three is bad because you get two connected passes. I well, I think white. I think it's okay. So yeah, well, I gave this. Maybe white should accept it. So yeah, I, I I evaluated that this is just you know a violent position. I maybe it's easier for black. I don't know, but all I know is that that was a con a nice concession that I get if I get him to play h three. But based on what, so do you have two connected passports? But well, it's fairly easy to blockade them. If you move them inaccurately, right? So yeah, no, no, I have to, you have to be very careful. I mean, on the other very... hand, you know, no, well, maybe he will have an odd check, you know, somewhere, and he opened up your he opened up your king, and now importantly, can he play his knight to d3? Yes, he can. He will play knight to d3. Maybe his position improved actually. After h3, oh, really? I'm thinking this. It's so difficult to evaluate such positions and understand them. Yeah. In, in some way, you know, I think if he plays knight to d3 and maybe knight from b3 comes to c5, that's when these pieces begin to. No. Begin to exert their influence over the board. That before that, they were scattered and not doing anything. Maybe that's what he needs. Knight to d3 and knight b3 to c5. Try to keep them all together and maybe start moving his pawns. Yeah. The queen side. No, I think it's a very hard position. About and, and let me just say, I think the real challenge for white is like the second I move these pawns, then his bishop gets good uh, blockading chances. Yeah. Right. No, well, that that could go either way. Yeah, I agree with you. This position is is tremendously sharp and well difficult to play for both sides and very very interesting. 
Okay. The king, you know, you, you're going to have some issues with your king because if you want to move your pawns, there always going to be some kind of odd checks, you know, maybe surprising forks. So that's, that's going to be a challenge for black. It's also so very hard for him if I do, if I just even wait with improving the pawns, very hard for him to actually do anything to me, you know? Um, like maybe I'll even, maybe I could try to put my king here first. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like I don't know what I'm going to do. Where, where, where should the king uh, go? H4, for? I lit up on H4. I don't know. Oh, well, uh, I see. Well, <laughs> I looked everywhere near the king, but well, there was nothing <laughs> highlighted. Turns out you have this gigantic plans of bringing <laughs> No, I'm just saying if I don't if I don't advance my pawns immediately, I'm trying to imagine like what would you I do. You know what I'm that? thinking, you know, yeah. this this is sort of uplifting because after you miss this queen c7 and yeah. then well and then you ended up losing no quite a bit of material, right? Yeah. Well it it looks bad, 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 but now you see some good things about your position. And uh yeah, which yeah. is which is helpful. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure you would play this position to, you know, reasonably well. Maybe, you no, know, if if he makes some mistakes, maybe you can win. Of course, yeah. Okay, let's look at what happened. Queen b6. Look at this guy, Yermo. Balls of steel, man. This kid, balls of steel, he doesn't want to repeat the position. No, but... <laughs> He's got But balls. I mean, I don't get it, you know. Black had to move a five, a tempo that would force the bishop to come to d3. Well, which t takes away the square from uh, from the knight. Um, I so I think that's okay, interesting. But then it becomes a problem. Uh, yeah, what do I do well, now? Well, so so the problem is that he's gonna play what h three. I'm not gonna take. I'm gonna play h five. So I go king g seven. Is this really gonna be a problem for me? Okay, so the first thing I want... So the rook can come to f1, and right. then I'll probably return with my queen. Is my queen so much better on e3 than on b6? Maybe, maybe not. But I wanted to place the bishop on b6. I wanted to restrict that, that knight. No, right, I play this move, queen e3. I like it. I don't care for bishop c4, I can protect it. No, it's actually protected. So the plan is simple, bishop to b6, h pawn forward, he's stuck with the knight on e1. Yeah! <laughs> no probably here. So, c3, and then you you plan this knight to c1 and knight c2. And, uh, and how is that going to improve? So, but at some moment you're going to play this queen h6, but I want to wait for your pieces to, to go back passively. And uh, so, I don't know. So I need to play a move like bishop to b6. Let's stop knight d4. Bishop to b6. And on knight c1, maybe I'll try to hit your h pawn. So this knight c1. That's nothing. Oh, king c2. What does that do? What's I just want to get some squares, boss. I just want some h5. squares. H5. Pay no attention. H5. <laughs> Alright, all right. can I do this? Uh, you want to trade your, your knight for my bishop? Uh, knights want to bring it around. Gain some squares. I think, yeah, white is just trying to gain squares, right? Like what squares? I want to push you away. So you play know. knight to c4, so you yeah. chase my queen out of there. And, uh, but I don't think you're going to take on, on b6. I don't think you're going to take on b6. Uh, so the question is where I put my queen. Uh, okay, probably just back, right? So I play this h4, knight c4, queen c5. Probably queen c7 next. 
But he will play this. Oh, okay. And on H3, I would have a invasion to H2. So my plan is to play queen to C7. I think white didn't do much to solve the main problem, which was the bad position of the knight on E1. It was the other knight that circled around. So you played what before an A4? Let's get the real game going. Yeah, yeah, no, he's gonna do something like this, yeah. No, well, queen c7, a4, queen takes h2, a5. No, well, that's the game, but no, well, that's the that's the h2 pawn. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very hot. It's very hot. Hey, that's, that's a hot position, man. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay, so but anyways, well, it was hot the way I did it too. Cause so so here we go, pop. That he doesn't want to draw. He, he doesn't has... want to draw, dude. This guy's insane. Doesn't want to draw. <laughs> queen b8 might be misplaced as your queen somewhat. Okay, so here's what I did. I went a5. Uh huh. Here. Here. And now I made a, Now I made it. This is my at least what is it? The second big mistake where I'm playing a natural move. And I think queen d6 would have been much more clever here than queen c4. So queen d6 with the idea of that check. Huh. No, but can he... Uh... Okay, queen d6. So he has to... He has to go... He plays the bishop to b5, right? Yeah. So he anchored the bishop. Check. King there. And now he needs... Too much. He needs too much, but... Ah, but wait a minute. If you grab the pawn on h2, you're actually giving up a5. I know. So, so I'm not in a rush of taking h2. I'm not in a rush. Like, my next moves are going to be building moves. h5, the knight on e, uh, he has a, just a hard time fixing his rook, for example. No, no rook f1. Well, rook f1 has to be played, because if he's given up the pawn on h2, then anyhow, then he doesn't need the rook on h1. He has to put the rook on a protected square. Okay, rook f1. I take... So he takes, right? And then, okay, let me just think about this. Where, oh, does, no, he, where, that, does, where does your knight if, go? If though, previous Bobby? positions were a mess, what about this This thing? That's, it's even worse. Yeah, it's a mess, right? It's a mess. What are we doing? That's a terrible mess. So, it okay, a, so I, I played... It, it, it is a terrible mess. Well, I, I cannot... I cannot tell anything about it. My problem is that, well, evaluating this position is that if you look at the final position, he can give up the knight because the e pawn is already running. He's going to play knight c6. You mm -hmm. take that knight and he goes a5. And how do we get out of that? Um, okay, let me go back. So, um... in, the, in the end of the, at the very end of the line where you did all these clever things and played bishop to g3. I just knight thought, maybe, what if knight c6? Fair question. Okay, here. Queen d5 check is an effective c4. <laughs> what a position, what to do? <laughs> just that, I mean, queen d2 is kind of stupid, you know. Well, no, maybe queen d2 is not stupid. No, queen d2, there is a6, and he's ready to, he's just ready to win. What a position. No, but seriously, well, if if previous versions were unbalanced and uh, uh, were making my head spin, <laughs> once there is a trade of the uh, pawn on the dead side for the a pawn, it's, it's too much. So anyways, in this one, I actually didn't give myself a question mark. Maybe I could, because this move also gives him grief, okay? Because he has to go this way, and then it's his position's funny here, too. So now the kid, now he decides to go for it, okay? So here, we, here it's going to get hot. Here we go. Pop. Okay. He goes for it. I think very controversial. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. He's got about he opened, one... He's he opened got, up your king. Yeah, but look. But he has a problem. He, he's got a problem, well, yeah. Yeah, well, did he miss queen h1? Maybe he missed queen h1. 
So possibly a capture on the six was maybe. Oh, look at this position. Look, look I lost this position, Yermo. Oh God. Oh. No, first of all, anybody can lose this position with any cover. Oh. Anyways, Yerm, let me just show you the end and then we'll, we'll call it. So the kid found, finds a very tricky move, bishop d7. And let me just paint you a picture. This kid's got maybe one minute left. I got I, my time management, by the way, Yerm. I, I haven't improved much as a player, but as a time management, I've got much better. I got 22 minutes left here. Oh, so you should win. I should win. So I played h5, okay. G3, okay. you could see his clever trick, by the way. Very tricky. Pretty good, yeah. That would win for him. So bishop h7, b7, also tricky. And now I blundered here. Oh, it's very, very sad. King h6, I think it's winning, man. I think it's winning because... For you? I think so. It's close anyway. Oh, he has pieces to spare. So if he... He only gets one of my pawns for one of his pieces, though. No, well, not necessarily the case, right? I mean, so, so the g pawn will go first, right? Yeah. So, okay, let me just show you the main variation that I, I thought was the main variation here, right? And I, I couldn't find the fortress for the guy here. I mean, uh, you mean he is, uh, no, I know, he needs to bring his knight a little closer, but. Oh yeah, so yes he does. It, I don't <laughs> yes know, he does. Three or something, I don't know. It's, comes into consideration but you're right you know it's pretty hard but but he can also employ different strategy he may figure okay i'm gonna give up the bishop and the rook for the pawns and try to advance the the king and uh, mm -hmm. no i mean and the pawns with the knight which may be a nightmare position to play also yeah and here of course the the, the clock will be the factor i don't know if you're winning you know i wouldn't necessarily say so no besides he never used the um, no we're not considering the the ideas like before pawn takes a5 which also no it's something to be to be considered mm -hmm. maybe he can play before maybe it's a tempo kind of play a4 you before you take a5 G3, also, G3. also in this position, he could think about King B2 intending Knight E2. Well, that's another possibility. He also kind of unpinned with the tempo. Before is the, before is an interesting move. Yeah, it has some points. But certainly, you shouldn't be losing. There's no way you should be losing here. There's no way you should be losing. I don't believe it. No matter what he does, you you can't lose. <sighs> okay, well, I did. <laughs> I did, Jermo. I did. Did you go to a short or something? No, I went here, man. I went here. Just again, it's the natural move. Played quickly. And then the problem is now I actually have a problem with bishop e8. If I go to h6, the issue is on bishop e8. Then I do this thing to him and I tag the bishop. That's the key tactic. Well, yeah. And then, uh, and then, then, he's, then he's done. Bishop. Yeah. Most likely. Because he wasted more time. Right. Uh huh. <sighs> so he grab your pawn on a5 and, uh, and then bishop a8. And then, yeah, I think I'm lost here. And then I make it easy on him too. And it's just terrible, man. It's just terrible. Okay. Yermo, we should stop there, by my man. That was great. Um, yeah, well, yeah. The, it was good talking. To, that's some amazing games you play. Well, it's gonna get worse next week, my friend. It's gonna be one more, one worse. more ounce of pain next no, no, week. Well, if if you sum it up, well, I I think that, I think your emotional state was kind of roller coaster thing. First of all, you came with the, with your prep and the playing against an unknown player, you yeah, thought yeah, you would yeah. win, right. and then uh, things got a little rough, you know. And then, of course, you know, then after he blundered the pawn on f two, invited you back in the game. 
well, you get ambitious again. I think maybe that was that was the reason for those blunders because indeed, you know, like you, you show much better moves that you missed, particularly here, King H6. King H6. Oh, man. Oh.